Hey guys, TechiegHD here again with another video, and today I have a fairly requested video, which is the iPhone 5 versus the iPhone 5C. Now this video is going to be a little bit different from the other kinds of iPhone 5 versus 5C videos, because I'm not really going to be talking about any sort of specifications or... Um, Geekbench or benchmarking scores, but I'm going to be talking about these two phones head to head in a real world comparison. So, without any further ado, let's get straight on into the video. Alright guys, so let's actually start out with the iPhone 5. Now the iPhone 5 is the older of these two phones and actually the more evolved uh, and surprisingly the more premium feeling of these two devices even though it is the older counterpart to the iPhone 5C. Now one of the main controversial um, looks that the iPhone 5C has got is the fact that it is basically an iPhone 5 in a cheaper plastic body. Um, so let's actually take a look at the iPhone 5 to tell you guys what this phone really is. Now this is an iPhone 5S's body. So the new iPhone 5S, which is the more premium uh, of the newer generation Apple products uh, in terms of iPhones, uh, is the same body as this, basically. It is an anodized aluminum uh, as well as a glass enclosure, which does feel very, very nice in the hand. Now, for someone coming from essentially any other phone but an iPhone, will find this a very... A uh, very very strange phone when you first pick it up because it is extremely light It feels almost like you're not holding anything in your hand uh, And it's kind of a scary feeling almost because you keep thinking that this is something that's just going to fall out of your hand Without even knowing it because you naturally do not apply too much uh, pressure into holding the phone because of how light it really is um, now the screen on this phone is a a uh, four inch apple dubbed retina display which i believe is 1136 by 640 uh, which gives it a pixel per inch resolution of 326 pixels per inch now this is of course not 720p or 1080p or anything of the sort but to apple fans it is the perfect screen now i think that this is a really nice screen i could do with a slightly better um or a slightly bigger screen i wouldn't really mind that at all uh, because i like bigger screens um Though the 4 inch size in my opinion is the sweet spot, I think a 4 or 4.5 would be nice just for consuming media. But this is a really really nice size screen and it is basically the same screen which is found on the iPhone 5S along with the iPhone 5C. Now this device rocks a 1 gigahertz uh, Apple A6 processor with a gigabyte of RAM and a 8 megapixel camera which actually uh, also does carry over into the iPhone 5C. Now, this is a very nice camera, one of the class leaders for sure. Um, only a couple phones honestly have any claim to being better because of its color saturation. It has perfect color accuracy and it is a very, very quick camera as you guys can see. Even for a camera which does have last generation specs on the phone, it is very, very fast. And if you press and hold the shutter, it also does have a burst mode. Um, so that is really, really nice. Now the front camera on this uh, is an HD camera, but it is, I believe, 720p. So it isn't really the best quality. The iPhone 5C's camera is a little bit better. Uh, on the front for one now one of the reasons I'm not showing you guys a lot of benchmarking scores or anything like that is simply because this is a real world a real world test I'm sorry uh, it's not for the spec lover because honestly the spec lover is not going to be getting a last generation phone um, but this is just for people who are looking to buy a phone um, that has really really impeccable build quality uh, and the Apple brand name of course because that is one of the reasons that a lot of people actually buy Apple products is for the name uh, and for the fact that this is a nice premium feeling phone which does a lot of the tasks that a lot of other phones can do now the thing with Apple is their optimization is impeccable um, Apple has basically proven to the world that it isn't the specs that matter because this phone has last generation specs uh, so it's not really a matter of what kind of specifications the phone is rocking as long as the uh, software optimization is actually up to par and this phone definitely does provide now I really really do like the iPhone 5 and the only reason that I switched to the iPhone 5C was because I wanted to try out Apple's new form factor which of course is present in the iPhone 5C with the introduction of that new polycarbonate shell um, and overall would I recommend the iPhone 5 Definitely, because it's an iPhone 5C, but in a much nicer body. Um, so speaking of the iPhone 5C, let's actually move on to that now. Um, but first, let me just show you guys. Uh, of course, this does have the really nice chamfered edge that people have come to know and love. Uh, of course, we do have our micro-drilled uh, speaker and microphone at the bottom, along with the Apple Lightning connector and the earphone jack. 
um, and on the left we do have our volume up and down buttons as well as the silent switch. At the back we have our camera and flash uh, as well as our secondary noise cancelling microphone and that basically does conclude uh, all the ports etc on the iPhone 5 and my roundup of the iPhone 5 as compared to the iPhone 5C. Now let's take a look at the iPhone 5C. As I said before, this is a, a repackaged iPhone 5. Honestly, the main differences between this and the iPhone 5 do come in terms of the hardware. And the fact that this uses a polycarbonate back shell, uh, the digitizer of course is the same, it is Gorilla, gra uh, Gorilla Glass and it is tempered and everything. But at the back we are now using a polycarbonate shell. And the fact that Apple uses polycarbonate now makes it available in different colors and this does come in a variety of colors. I of course picked the blue one because as you guys can probably tell from the background, um, I have a blue wallpaper and a blue iCarbon skin on my trackpad. I am a big fan of the color blue, so I did decide to pick up the blue iPhone, but it also does come in pink, green, yellow, and white which I think do look really really nice though I wish they were a little bit more saturated almost because these colors seem a little bit muted especially more on camera it's a little bit nicer in real life but on camera this may almost seem like an off white uh, or a bluish white this is a lot more uh, brilliant in um, real life and if you guys can't really tell I would really really recommend you guys go down to an Apple store or an official retailer or something and go pick one of these up for yourself and see how it feels and looks to you now, the way it feels in the hand is in some ways actually nicer than the iPhone. As you guys can see, um, this actually does jab into your hand a little bit more, whereas um, the iPhone 5C is a little more of a rounded finish, as you guys can probably tell. And so it doesn't really jab into your hand more, it kind of fits more comfortably uh, into the palm of your hand. And I think that this is a really nice feeling phone. Now of course it doesn't have that premium finish like the iPhone 5 because it isn't a metal enclosure or any sort of glass enclosure. But I think that the polycarbonate actually feels a lot nicer than a lot of other plastic phones. It feels almost like ceramic and everyone who's picked up my iPhone 5C till date has felt that it is a ceramic phone. Which is saying a lot because plastic phones honestly do have a pretty bad rap for feeling really cheap. Uh, so people actually ended up going, for example, in the Android world from the iPhone or rather from the Samsung Galaxy S3 or S4 uh, to an HTC phone, for example, the HTC One, the HTC One Mini or the HTC One Max, because it is a metal bodied phone and feels a lot nicer in the hand. Now, in terms of internals and speed of this phone, of course, it is a very quick phone. If you, it's ever so slightly slower than the iPhone 5S, but it's not something that you're going to notice unless you hold the phones up right next to each other and try to perform tasks. Opening applications is quick, smooth, and easy, and everything just seems to work really, really well on the iPhone. Now, one of my gripes is with the software, which is also prevalent on the iPhone 5, and that is that it runs iOS 7, which is definitely an incomplete operating system and definitely requires some work because I notice glitches on my phone all the time. And that's not only on this specific phone, but also includes the iPhone 5S, iPhone 5 and all versions and iterations of the iPad that are able to run iOS 7. So in conclusion, I think that these are two very very nice phones. Um, of course the iPhone 5C is a little bit newer than the iPhone 5 but it honestly isn't too much of a difference because the iPhone 5 and 5C have basically the same exact internals as one another. And which one would I recommend? It actually depends on what you're looking for. If you're more of a casual person who would like a pop of color uh, and a newer phone, I would definitely of course recommend the iPhone 5C. It does feel really nice in the hand. It comes in these brilliant colors and if you guys want to know or if you want to be known for having the newest iPhone, you should definitely go ahead and pick up the iPhone 5C as compared to the iPhone 5. But if you don't mind having uh, the reputation of having a slightly, a slightly older phone, but one that feels a lot more premium and nicer in the hand, then please go ahead and check out the iPhone 5. It is still a really, really nice phone and I would definitely recommend it to anyone looking to pick up a iPhone and to try to get into the Apple ecosystem. Now anyway guys, that does about conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, it would be really really awesome if you guys could leave this video a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of this video. And for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials and much much more, please do remember to subscribe. It would mean a lot. All you have to do is hit the little subscribe button underneath this video. It's free, only takes a second, really helps the channel out, and of course will keep you up to date with all my latest HD content. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and as always, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.